Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your Windows drive to a new or larger hard drive and make it bootable so you can just carry on with what you were doing. So we're going to be using a free tool called Fox Clone. So we did a video on this before on how to clone your drive in Linux, but it will also work for Windows, so we're going to show you how to do that. Alright, so we have our computer here with our Windows drive. So it's a 150 gig drive and we're going to clone it to a larger 200 gig drive. And you can see here, this is just unallocated space, so you don't have to have a drive letter. It doesn't need to be formatted or anything like that. As long as your computer sees the drive, that's all you need to do. All right, so then you just need to download the Fox Clone ISO file. And then you have to burn it to a bootable uh, USB flash drive or even a CD if you still have one of those. So we have some videos on how to create these types of flash drives. So I'll put a link in the description for that in case you've never done that before. So then once you have Fox Clone on your flash drive, you just boot your computer to it and then you can clone the drive from there because it doesn't work from within Windows itself. Alright, so I already have my flash drive ready to go. And so now I'm going to restart the computer and boot up to that flash drive and then we'll start the clone. Alright, so we're at the main Fox Clone menu here, so you can go right into Fox Clone, check your USB for defects, or even run a memory test. So we'll choose the Fox Clone option here. Alright, so once you're here, you'll have this kind of temporary desktop. Uh, with some options here with some additional tools you could even use gparted here if you want to uh, configure a hard drive and that type of thing all right then we just double click on the fox clone icon there it'll read your drives all right then you need to go to the clone tab make sure you're not on the backup tab this will do backups as well all right, so we need to pick our source drive, so you need to make sure you pick the right one. So I've noticed when you uh, have Windows NTFS drives in Linux, it doesn't seem to read them correctly. So I know this is my 150 gig drive, even though it says 161. And then we're going to pick the target, which is the 200 gig drive, even though it says 215. We're doing drive to drive, not backup file to drive. And we just need to click on clone. Choose all the partitions here. Then we have this warning here that the target drive will be overwritten, so we'll click on OK. All right, so this will run, so this will take several minutes, so I'll pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, so the process is complete, so it took about 15 minutes to do so. So we'll just click on Finish. Let it do its thing real quick here. All right, then we'll click on quit and then we could click down here and do shut down and then we'll restart into windows and see how the drive looks all right so let's open up disk management again all right so you can see here here's the original drive here's the 200 gig drive uh, but it's offline, which is fine because you don't want two bootable Windows drives to be going at the same time. But you can see here we have this 50 gigs of unallocated space because this drive is 50 gigs larger than this drive. And if you notice, you right click here, you can't extend it. And that's because this partition is in the way and you can't drag it or move it around. So to get around this, you could either do it now or you could do it later after you swap out the drives because to do it now you're going to have to put this online and, and take it from there so what I'm going to do now is shut down the computer remove the 150 gig drive and then we'll boot it back up and take it from there alright so we got a Windows logo so that's a good sign alright so we're back in Windows let's take a look at disk management again All right, so as you can see, we just have the 200 gig drive with our Windows partition here. So we still have our 50 gigs of unallocated space. So we just need to get this guy out of the way so we could then expand it. 
All right, so to do so, we're going to be using the free Niubi Partition Editor software. So they have an installable version and a portable version, which you don't have to install. And they have the portable one here. So you just download it and double click on the executable. Say yes. All right, let's make this full screen here so we can see what we're doing. All right, so this is the partition we want to move here. So if we go to resize move volume, take this guy, drag it over here. And now these two are side by side. Click OK. All right, so now you have to apply it. You can't just do it and close out, so you got to click on the apply button here. All right, so now we can extend it from here, but let's go back to disk management and check it out there first. All right, so now you can see it refreshed, and we have our side-by-side -side partitions here. So now we can right-click this one, extend volume, decide if we're going to use some or all of it. We're going to use it all, and finish. All right, so now we have our 200 gig C drive here. We're going to Windows File Explorer. We got the same thing. Alright, so as you can see, Fox Clone does a pretty good job of cloning your drive. Just the one downside is you'll have to do this manual process here if you're going to a bigger drive. There are other apps like Clonezilla and Terabyte, which should allow you to automatically extend the drive during the cloning process if you want to check those out as well. Alright, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download a Fox Clone and you can try it for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <coughs>